listen, Mark, buddy, you, you screwed up, buddy. I know, everyone's mad at you. It's gonna be okay. Here's some ways you can, you can make this right. Well, you Mark, uh, Mark Rosewater, hey, uh, welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. My name is Louie, man. I, I gotta say, I, I know that you uh, are not feeling great. I know people are pretty upset with the current state of Magic the Gathering, and you've got this uh, this big weight hanging over your shoulders. November 8th, November 28th is coming up pretty soon. I know you're you're anxious about what actually happens with this big $1,000, $250 pack shenanigans that you decided to pull. I, listen, I know Hasbro's on your butt. I know they're really after you to, to make some money. I, I thought maybe what we could do here is put together some ideas between now and November 28th that maybe you could come up with some solutions that kind of work for everybody rather than what we all know you're probably gonna do, which is not listen to any, you probably think that it's actually going well right now. The, 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 your initial idea is so tone deaf uh, that you probably think it's, it's, it's going well right now, even though everyone's telling you it's not. But if you end up catching this, if somebody shares this with you, or you end up you know, getting some ideas in and you end up seeing this video, here's, here's a couple ideas that you could use to maybe make this better for everybody, including you, my friend. Yeah, I, I, like I want you to succeed as I want to, as much as I want to keep, you know, doing this. So here's some ideas, some ways, some suggestions that you could improve your product before November 28th and it goes live. Um, all right. So number one, the obvious thing that you could do is you could just admit that you you guys made a mistake that that wizards made a mistake there was pressure and uh, so you made a mistake and what you could do is lower the price from a thousand dollars i hear this to like four dollars a pack i know you're like what how would we do well if you just make more packs then you can make up the profit you can still you know you can still make up the profit yeah, i know you can't get the packs out by christmas but like Nobody's gonna be as mad at you right now. And I know the reserve list people may be frustrated, but like, A, they're already frustrated. And B, it, the more of this that you print, the less valuable it is. And it's really not worth anything already. So, you know, you print a bunch more packs, you just sell them for $4 packs and direct to consumer. You guys can make a lot of money. I mean, the packs cost you pretty much nothing. You didn't even change the art on them. So they, they, they cost you pretty much nothing. So you just print a bunch of the packs. You just keep it in print all year. Just say, hey, listen, we're gonna have a, a limited supply before Christmas. And then all year, we're just gonna keep shipping them out. You order it, eventually we'll ship it to you. And then people can just get all the packs they want. They can play draft with it. They can they can play sealed with it. They can rip them open on YouTube. Listen, because if somebody rips these open on YouTube now, People aren't gonna like them. And so now you're not even really getting the advertisement. So, but if you make them $4 packs direct to consumer, you guys can make a lot of money, but you know, you can also just kind of make the community be able to celebrate Magic's 30 year. You know, we, maybe me and my friends can get together. We can do a draft, we can do sealed with, with beta. That would be a ton of fun. Uh, okay, but like, that's one idea. Here's another one if you wanted to really like, do something long-term that that first idea was still like short-term profit still like not really investing in, in the people who are really helping you grow and so what about this maybe instead of direct to consumer the second idea is that you actually like give those packs to lgs's to run events like maybe the entire next year every single month LGSs get two or three boxes. I know this is insane. Two or three boxes worth, like 36, 72 packs. I don't know, 100 and whatever it is, eight packs, whatever that math adds up to me. You know, we get packs that we can run drafts and we can actually bring people into the store to play with beta and we can have a blast. And again, the cards aren't gonna be worth anything because you're gonna keep doing it every month. Every store can get two or three boxes and they can do a $4 per pack draft that, that the store can make some money. I bet you we end up selling more product and instead of having to dump everything on Amazon and look like an idiot, like you guys could actually like look like you know what you're doing. And man, you could really help these stores out who really love your game, but are kind of feeling like, hey, maybe we shouldn't care. Like 
keep carrying it and events are not firing and man maybe i you know it'd be great we could host these events you, you could get these in the community people could really celebrate magic 30 you could even sell them i think stores would be all about it. i think stores would probably pay 100 125 200 dollars for a box of this they could run events on their own time you could still make a lot of money but you'd also be investing and reinvesting in how you got here it'd be crazy uh okay if so you don't like that all right well, how about this? What if you took the packs and you you put them into as box toppers in the next set, in the Phyrexia set? It encouraged people to buy the next standard set because they get a box topper that's all, you know, it's this, the booster pack that you're trying to sell. It would actually get people excited for the next set again. Oh, man. I know, I, I know that you're not going to listen to any of this. I know that you're going to come out... And you're going to sell these packs on November 28th. And they're going to sell out. And I know that. I'm not stupid. Not like you. I'm not stupid. But maybe, just maybe, there, there's other ways to do this. It's, it's not, it doesn't have to be this way. You can still change it. I, your shareholders obviously don't like it. I, listen, Mark, take a deep breath. Relax. If you don't do something, you're gonna miss out on it. The, the short-term money just isn't worth the long-term damage that you're doing to the company. And to come out and say, hey, we made a mistake and hey, we're, we're gonna do this to fix it would be amazing. It would give the community energy to feel like, yes, we matter. Everyone I've talked to, they love Magic the Gathering. They just don't love the decision. They just don't love the, the process. They want change they want you to admit that they made you made a mistake so just take a step back relax it's gonna be okay and understand that long term the profit will be there in short term taking the short term gains it's not gonna be worth it buddy it's not gonna be worth it anyway my name's Louie I hope you'll consider one of these options. Maybe somebody in the comment section could leave more options for you of ways that you could fix this. It's already happening. The damage is already done, but maybe there's some ways you could fix this. You got like, I don't know. You got like a week, two weeks? What, you, you got a week? Oh God, you can't fix this in a week. Maybe, maybe you can fix this in a week. Maybe you can think of looking at some of the comments below and some ideas of how you could unscrew this up because, uh, hmm people not feeling pretty good. All right, Mark, hey, remember to be kind to the people around you. And uh, Mark, check me out next video. Make sure you subscribe.